City of York has actually implemented quite a few river management strategies in order to try and reduce the impact of flooding in the city. So I'm going to tell you some of the main things that they have done in order to stop this. The river management strategies in York start in about 1978 and there's been lots of different schemes since then with the cost adding up to over £10 million. And one thing that's really important in York is the fact that it's quite a historical city. So these management strategies need to kind of fit in with the appearance of the city. And we've got about five main things that's happened here. Number one. So perhaps the most well-known flood defence strategy in York is the Foss Barrier. And this is basically a river gate that goes across the river roofs and it stops water from backing up and flowing into the River Foss, which is actually a tributary of the River Ouse. So this gate can be closed when the discharge is high to stop this water backing up, and it can obviously be opened to allow boats through. Number two. Now in places such as Clifton Ings and Lehman Road, there are actually some embankments, so raised areas either side of the river, that increase the capacity of the river. So this obviously means that more rainfall is needed for the river to flood. Uh, this is actually used in combination with another method called floodplain zoning. And that is where Clifton Ings, this area of Clifton Ings, is allowed to flood when the river discharge is particularly high. And that therefore stops flooding further down in more important areas either side of the river. Number three. And a different method that's used in York is the use of flood relief channels. And what they do is they divert water from the tributaries which lead to Holgate Beck, which then lead to um, the River Ouse, and they di divert some of this water away from the city and just divert it further downstream. So the water pretty much just skips the city of York and enters the River Ouse past the city of York. Number four. And in York, the area of North Street is quite an important shopping and commercial area of the city. So in order to protect that, in 1992, um, a series of floodgates and walls were constructed just to help protect this area. And a lot of these walls have been placed alongside the road so that if you're standing close to the river, you can't actually see them. And finally... So I've got three less substantial methods of reducing the impact of flooding in New York. Um, the first one is that some buildings, such as the General Accident Offices, are actually designed in order to reduce damage caused by floods. And one way you can do that is by putting things like the car park on the bottom floor. So obviously if it floods, a less important area of the building is flooded. Um, second, we've got York City Council, who distributes sandbags free of charge, um, if they think a flood's going to happen. And finally, you've got lots of pubs and different shops near to King Snaith, and they might follow warnings, flood warnings that you might see in the news, and they therefore will move the most valuable possessions in those pubs and in those shops upstairs or to higher ground in order to protect their valuables. So those are the main ways that York helps to manage flooding in the city. That's all.